hello everyone welcome back to mrs Reflet channel in this video i am going to share with you my easy contemporary stew or spinach stew with eggs this time so it's not with agushi it's the egg version so let's get right into it for this stew i have got here two medium sized sliced onion i am also going to use two plump tomatoes i have got two bags of frozen spinach that i have thawed i have 10 eggs two spinach and tomato sauce i have also got five garlic cloves two thumb sized ginger cut into two and three scotch bonnet peppers i also have here about a tablespoon of crayfish seasoning powder i've got half a tablespoon of maggie seasoning half a tablespoon of salt and last but not least i have got some zomi palm oil so let's get started i'm going to add about half a cup of palm oil into my cooking pot let it heat up and then i am going to add in my sliced onion and once again these are two medium sized sliced onion but you can add more if you wish then i am going to give it a nice little stir and let it to fry for about three to four minutes or until the onions are translucent in the meantime i am going to blend the two plum tomatoes the ginger garlic and scotch bonnet and by the way i also added one medium sized onion you can see on the right hand side corner but i just forgot to add it at the beginning so now let's get back to the onions it is nice and translucent and i am going to add in my tomato onion ginger scotch bonnet and garlic mixture to it now i am going to give it a little stir and i'm going to cover it and leave it to cook on a medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes so friends this is after 15 minutes and i am going to give it a little stir once again and then i am going to add in my spinach and as i said these were frozen spinach that i thawed so i removed all the water and squeezed it and this is why it looks like this now that said if you'd rather use the Ghanaian consumer or even the fresh spinach please go ahead and use it but this is the quicker way so now i'm going to give it a stir and then i'm going to add in my peel shots and tomato sauce i've got two cans and you can see it here on the right corner and if you want to use something else like mackerel and tomato sauce or even fried fish please go ahead and use it but this is how i am doing it for this stew so now i'm going to stir it gently and in the meantime i also have my 10 eggs that i'm going to crack and if you think 10 eggs is too much please use less or use agushi instead but this is the egg version so now i'm going to drizzle the egg into the stew and then i am going to stir it gently and i am going to leave it to cook for a few minutes about seven to ten minutes okay friends so now i am going to add my other half a cup of palm oil so in total i have used one cup and i always like to split it into two so i add the other parts later on so now i am going to give it a little stir and leave it to cook for about two minutes and then i am going to add my seasoning so my crayfish powder my maggie powder and my salt and of course please feel free to use any seasoning you like because i know there are going to be some people and you're using maggie in this place this is how i like it so just don't add it if you do not like it and last but not least I am going to add one tablespoon of a ground brown you can use ground crayfish if you like 
give it a little stir cover it and let it simmer for about five minutes so friends this is my gunturmi stew after five minutes and it is looking awesome and now the last thing i'm going to add which is optional again i'm going to add a few boiled eggs to it um i'm saying it's optional because the stew already contains eggs but this is how we like it here in this house so feel free not to add it now i'm going to give it a stir and leave it on lower heat possible for about two minutes and that's it look at this magnificent inkotomi stew or spinach stew i really hope you enjoyed watching this recipe guys i am going to enjoy it with some avocado and some boiled plantain please eat it with whatever you like like yam rice i really love it with yam so thank you all for watching and i'll see you very soon for another recipe bye and take care god bless you